The AWS features comprehensive 5.1 monitoring with base management and a range of loudspeaker calibration options. One of the most common questions is, why can't I hear anything? It's important to remember that you need to select a monitor source to listen to. Four speaker sets are supported, two 5.1 sets and two stereo, and they are selected here. If no selection is made, your main 5.1 monitor speakers will be engaged. Level control is via the large blue rotary control, along with the essential dim and cut switches. A nice feature here is that the dim level attenuation is user-defined, so you can tailor it to your preference. Other user-defined monitoring levels include both AFL and PFL and headphone levels. There's also a headphone socket. One little known but extremely useful feature is SIF, which stands for solo in front. By engaging a channel solo switch, an AFL signal and the monitor source are routed to the monitor outputs. The SIF control then acts as a balance between the AFL signal and the monitor signal. As mentioned, it's possible to fully calibrate all the loudspeakers in your studio independently, and of course there's comprehensive base management, even allowing your mini nearfields to access the main or secondary 5.1 monitors LFE or subwoofer. It's also possible to monitor a number of external sources. External A is for 5.1 inputs, and external B is for stereo signals. Sources from both external selectors may be summed together. This is particularly useful for generating complex fallback mixes, or when stem mixing, as it allows the recorded stems to be monitored together with a current mix. Other useful monitoring features on the AWS include a full 5.1 insert point available on the monitor path, which would be ideal for a surround encoder-decoder combination. There are dedicated solo or cut switches available for all of your 5.1 speakers, which is great for quickly checking what each is contributing to your mix. Other features are the ability to reverse the phase of the left loudspeaker to check for any issues. And a favourite of mine is the ability to monitor in mono, an often underrated method for checking balances. Another very useful feature is that the monitoring level can be set to three different scales. Simple gain with ranges from off to 0 dB, a film setting that provides a level readout from off to 95 dB, and of course a music option that goes from off to 11. One of the great things here is that it's possible to predefine a listening level. For example, if you wanted to work at 85 dB, simply measure with an SPL meter 85 dB from your loudspeakers and engage the 85 dB option on the panel to set the volume knob to that level. Now, every time you push the monitor level control, the level will return to your predefined listening level. It will then indicate CAL. And pressing it again allows you to make user listening level adjustments as normal. If you are not in a calibrated listening mode, i.e. music or gain, then pushing the monitor level pot switches it between fine and large level control modes. So you have seen, the AWS features a truly comprehensive monitoring section that will accomplish all your listening needs.